99X. It's Barnes and Leslie in the Morning X. Money, money, money. Money, we told you, you could win money on this show. The Morning X with Barnes and Leslie. It's going to happen, and we will have all the details Monday. Right around the corner. And you know, I would qualify by saying it's a what? lot of money. Well, this I said rich, and you were like, what are you talking about? I don't know if it's rich, Can but you? maybe. Depends. It's not a hundred bucks. It's a lot more. It's more than a hundred. Yeah. So just be here Monday. Hey, I'd take a hundred. You know what? <laughs> be here every day. Leslie needs a hundo. <laughs> so okay. what? Okay, Magic City. To, to light the fireplace? Right. No, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys, well, I know the answer. You're not geeks like me when it comes to technology. So, yes, last week on Thursday night, I was up at 10 o'clock watching the live stream from, you know, Elon Musk about Mm -hmm. what's coming from Tesla. He was almost an hour late. He's such a piece of, I mean, he's so, he sells everything and rarely delivers on the time schedule that he says he's going to. There were a million people sitting on this stream on Thursday night. I knew you would be. Oh, yeah. And I kept waiting. And I'm like, I, I'm threatening, like, oh, I'm going to tweet something like, he's such a jerk for making everyone wait. And then I'm like, uh, I'm just going to wait because I wanted to hear it. But I, since I know you all didn't go through it, the whole thing is about autonomous driving. Right. And robo taxis, which are coming and which he debuted. Wasn't it called the robo taxi event? It was We Robot. That, okay. that was the official name for it. And I pulled. A handful of clips for you because I, I do like for my friends that could be you, Leslie, or Crash, or or you listening to at least know what's going on. Sure. Right now the cars can drive themselves. You know that. I I, I saw one. I was I was sitting at the wing factory in Buckhead outside on a beautiful Saturday, and all of a sudden this Tesla just pulls up all by itself. And I mean, I'm not a nerd like you, so I was like freaked out. I'm like, wow, that's so cool. Well, first of all, you're a nerd in a different way. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but the, I do it all the time just to get reaction, but sometimes it's efficient because now you can pull up to Publix, you can get out of the car, and th- all the parking places that are close by will show up on my app, and I can just hit a P in any of them, and my car goes and parks in that spot. That's so cool. That's crazy. And the reverse of that is when you come out of a store and your car is across the parking lot, you can hit Come to Me, and it fires up, it all lights up on the inside. And drives up and picks you up. That's <laughs> do people today. like go crazy when they see you do this? It's hysterical to watch people's faces when wow. when the car comes pulling up. But here are a few of the things that are coming up. At first, you know, he rolled up in in the new Tesla that's coming in a few years. It's a two door looking gull wing, so that the cool door opens up mm-hmm. and you right. get in. And you're basically like in a little pod with a big screen, and it takes you where you want to go. Here's where he was talking about some of the challenges. You know, today with transportation. If you could look in a crystal ball and see the future, you'd be like, yes, I wish I could be there now. That's what we want. So, so when we think about transport today, there's a lot of kind of pain that we take for granted that we think is normal. Uh, unless you're in a Tesla, of course. Our Tesla already uh, does quite well at this, uh, you know, supervised self driving. So, supervised for self, full self driving is actually working quite well. For, I'm sure there's. People in the crowd, you're using that, uh, yeah? We'll move from supervised full self-driving to unsupervised full self-driving, where the car, you could could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. I mean, this is coming sooner than you think. I know. Would you do it? Oh, I have no problem with it. Huh. I mean, okay. I, it, the car that's coming out has no pedals and no steering wheel. Scares me. Which did you see the the land the rocket landing? No. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, the, the Starship. Looks like someone's playing a video in reverse. Yeah. That thing comes back out of the freaking sky at an angle and lands between two like clips. Yeah, they call them chopsticks. Chopsticks. Yeah. That was cool. What that big bus they showed or whatever that was. The Robo Van. Yeah, they they yeah. they debuted that and their robot that's coming. So. Listen to some of the points he makes here, because this is going to affect you. It is going to come your way. Certain states are going to get it first. But here he's talking about the cost, you know, just the cost of cars. 
But there's also a challenge uh, for a lot of people that uh, cars cost too much. I mean, when you factor in everything that goes into a car and the car insurance and the car payments and the storage of the car, it's, uh, it's very expensive. So with, uh, and, and you say like how often are, what, how many hours a week are cars used? Your average passenger car is only used about 10 hours a week out of 100, 168 hours. So the vast majority of the time, cars are just doing nothing. But if they're autonomous, they could be used, I don't know, five times more, maybe, maybe 10 times more. So you could actually, for the, the same car, would have five times as much value, maybe, maybe 10 times as much value. It's, it's, there's 100, 168 hours in the week, and like I said, only 10 of them are used for driving. So, and, then, and then a bunch of those hours are looking for a parking spot, which is, you know, can be pretty annoying at times. So we want, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. So it's, it's not just a save, like it'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I, I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. Some people will argue that crash as the official traffic guide. Do you think that that's not accurate? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of them. I, I don't trust them. Why? Uh, what? Why? Because you're not in control. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But it can I, see I, four directions to your one. <sighs> yeah, but then you see all these other things like these different cars in San Francisco where they were all beeping one time at each other in a parking lot well, and one goes the wrong yes. way. Growing pains. Yes. And there have been. Yeah, some, growing some, pains. There have been. But think of this. In the next couple of years, if you own a three or a Y with right. this technology, you're going to be able to go home, go to bed and send your car out to drive as an Uber in Tesla's new ride share and come back home when it's ready to charge. I would like to ask a question, though, because you know I take a lot of Ubers. How much is it going to cost me? The Uber? Is it cheaper? Well, their version, I'm assuming when they roll out their app for this Tesla transports, whatever they're going to call it, it's going to be cheaper at the beginning to get people. Yeah, somebody said it was like subscription based or something. So, uh, it could be. I mean, I don't know if well, you would get unlimited rides. I don't know how that would work, but Yeah. Yeah, it's it's going to be a totally different thing. Here's a little more on on the time of the car. But if you look at the, think about the cumulative time that people spend in a car and the time that they will get back that they can now spend, well, I guess on their phones <laughs> or, <laughs> or or watching a movie uh, or doing work or whatever you want to do. Um, you can think of the the car in the autonomous world as being like just a, a, a little lounge. You're just sitting in, in a comfortable little lounge and you can do whatever you want while you're in this comfortable little lounge. And when you get out, you will be at your destination. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So. And they had like 50 of them that night and you could get in. If you were at the event, you got in and it, it literally is like that. It looked like a couch yeah, but two, you know, lazy boys and a big screen. Yep. And you just go. I keep, yeah, I keep thinking, did you see that movie Leave the World Behind? No. The scene where all the tes- Teslas crash? <laughs> well, Come on, that was the, a big scene in the there, movie. There are going to be more accidents, but are there going to be more than humans? Yeah, I, I under, Listen, you give us, me and Crash, your point of view is dead on, but it still scares the heck out of me. Yeah, I still think the technology is like, five years away. I, I, I know it's here now and I know your car will pull up when you want it to, but I still think for me to trust it. Well, let's go soon. Let's go somewhere and I'm going to show you from, from getting in the car to leaving, I won't touch anything, but I'll tell it where we're going to go and it will go. Okay. Uh, when I, I'm going to do it with you when I'm there. Soon. It'll drive like a human. Right. Just a few more short clips because they're interesting. Okay. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from a, the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Whoa. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. 
Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. So you're going to be able to buy this new Tesla for under 30. You could essentially buy five of them and put them all to work for you, Crash. They'll go out in the day, do your runs, and come back. Is that called a, a side hustle? It, one, I, I will do this. <laughs> I don't know how I know many of these will. I will buy, but I'll be the first person in my neighborhood. That does it. You're going to see a little line of these damn cars <laughs> coming back home to charge. <gasps> Telling you, you guys laugh, and this is happening within the next couple of years. It's going to start in Texas and California first, where the rules allow it, and then it's going to start oozing into other places. So, what? okay, let's say your car is out doing its own Uber thing while you're sound asleep. What happens if, like, a rowdy bunch gets in your car and they're throwing up all over the place or they're mess? I mean, it's just... I don't know. I I don't know the answers to those type of questions, and that's a great question. Does a robot come out of the trunk and kick ass? You're right. The the Tesla robot comes out and beats your ass, and then it gets back in the car. That's a great idea. Yeah, it is. Get ready, people. The future is here. (laughs) This is the original It Is 99X.